Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, today we're at the PTI farm. We're actually scouting a little bit of corn on the farm and I thought I'd show you one of the, you know, one of the newest trials we've got here at the farm involving short stature corn. And this has been really interesting to monitor this year in our, our first year of short corn. We've been trying to get this, this platform of corn on the farm and this year we've got it tested in three different scenarios. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but but look at this corn, short stature corn. What, you're probably wondering why in the world would somebody want short corn? And by the way, for those of you who know me or have ever met me before, you know I'm not the tallest person in the world. And some of this corn out here in the field, I'm actually taller than some of this corn. And so that leads us to the, to the reasoning of why in the world would we want short corn? Well, number one, probably the biggest advantage to short corn is it's less of a sale when we have a windstorm. We get high winds coming through, this corn is gonna be more resilient and have the opportunity of staying upright. And that is a good thing. If we have our corn being blown over, it's gonna cause harvest losses and can wreak havoc in the combine, it really can. So I do think that's the biggest value proposition with this corn is just keeping her upright. The other thing, as we look at applications through the growing season, you can bring your high clearance rig or maybe even some rigs that won't be classified as high clearance, but you can come in and make applications all through the growing season. This corn won't get too tall to uh, limit that machine coming in to make spray applications. So that would be another major advantage with this corn. So what are some of the disadvantages? Well, that's what we're gonna monitor this year, but I'm gonna go into the field and I'm gonna take a corn plant out and I'm gonna show you how this short corn works. Hold on just a second, let me go get a corn plant. I'll be right back. All right, so here is a corn plant that I just cut off at the soil surface. And it is kind of neat how this, this short corn works. You'll notice, let me flip it around here so you can see the ear better. You'll notice where the ear is at on this corn. And all of the nodes, I mean, you shorten this corn plant up, how it works is it shortens the nodes below the ear. So from the ear to the soil surface, Look how these leaves or the, you know, where the nodes are at are so close together. It's really neat looking at this. However, you go higher than the ear level and all of the nodes widen out. So this is very normal, very typical of an average corn plant of the distance between the nodes. So this shortening of the nodes underneath the ear is what shortens the overall height of the corn plant. That's what makes short stature corn. But one of the things that, that we're looking at is where is the ear actually at compared to the soil surface. And so we're going to look at harvestability. In a year like 2023, there was a lot of drought. And on average, there was a lot of short corn in non-short stature corn platforms. And, and so we're, we're looking at this, this corn trying to figure out what is the harvestability of this. Are these ears potentially getting too low in some uh, situations where harvest losses could occur? Now, we've got three major testing programs with the short stature corn this year. One is going to be a fertility, fertility study like you see behind me, where we're trying to use attachments on the plane or furrow jet and conceal to look at you look at and identify for, you know, fertility programs that might be able to manipulate the short corn to grow taller or move the ear height a bit higher on the plant. We're still evaluating this. We're doing counts out in the field. We'll bring that information to you as we get it more towards harvest time. But I think it's really interesting trying to do that to, to get ear height just a bit taller on the plant. We'll see if it works. Again, we'll bring that data to you after harvest. One other concern I have with short corn is seeding rate. Bayer that brought this corn to us here at the PTI farm recommends that this corn needs to be planted near 40,000. Okay, 38,000 to 42,000 seeds per acre. We elected to go 40,000 and you'll notice that we are in 30 inch rows. And so anytime you start pushing seeding rate, you know, over 36, 38, 40,000, you kind of wonder, could this be a perfect platform for 20 inch rows or even narrower rows of 15 inch corn. So we are doing that testing this year with this short stature corn, trying to evaluate the differences of wide row, what I'll call industry standard, 30 inch rows, and then narrowing it down to 20 inch rows or the narrow rows. 
Another, the last way, the third system we're testing with short stature corn is multi-genetic corn. So it's been one of, the, one of my passions, making sure we plant the right corn hybrid on the right acre. Well, what about short stature corn? What happens to the overall height and ear placement when we start going up the hills on some of this farm, those potential droughty soils, the corn gets super short. What happens to that ear placement? I wanna look at that. And then as we get off that hill or that drought stress area or that zone of the field, we go down into the good ground, the good black soil, the high productivity soils, what happens to overall height and ear placement as well. Those are the situations we're testing this year and hopefully we get some really good data once the combine rolls. Ear placement is going to be critical. I want to be, you know, I have to be able to get a, get a you know, a corn head into this corn, not only get the corn into the corn head, but get it into the combine without suffering harvest losses. I will tell you, ear placement is a bit low. It is a bit challenging in some locations, but one of the things we're going to be looking at is what is the proper combine corn head settings if we run into these situations with short corn in the future. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is short corn. You know, it's a shorter stature corn, offers some really nice advantages of keeping equipment in the field to, to um, you know, make whatever applications we need in, in regard to fungicides and nutrition throughout the season. I'm hoping that if I get a wind event, this corn will still be out here standing versus some of these real tall corns we've had a challenge with in the past. So I think with wind, this is a home run. This is a really nice, nice idea. But I've got to be able to figure out how to place this corn. Is it going to be in wide rows? Is it going to be in narrow rows? If this is going to be something that's popular in the future. And then I got to figure out how do I set my corn head? How do I harvest this properly? Because the overall ear height placement is going to be lower. If you have any questions about anything we've talked about today, feel free to shoot me an email at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com or by all means. Go to your local Precision Planning Premier dealer and have a conversation. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.